It is finally time to start a new challenge on the channel. For a long time, we've been sticking to our proxy nexus, proxy commencer, and air proxy hatch challenges, but now it's time for a macro challenge again. I know you guys have been missing those epic macro challenges, so now we're going to start Battle Cruiser with a mind to Grandmaster. Now, the rules are pretty simple. I'll allow myself to make five Marines, one Reaper, and besides that, I have to do everything with just BCs and Widomites. Now, the thing is, in the start of the challenge, I'm going to make it even harder. I'm not going to allow myself to make any Marines, just one Reaper, and I'm not allowed to kill any workers in their base with the reaper let's begin all right the first game is going to be against a diamond terry now you guys might notice my name normally i make names that kind of suit the challenge right now i'm just in a in the mood to name my account really stupid stuff to be honest now let's see what are we gonna do against a terran with battle cruiser widow mine now you guys know me in the start of the challenges i always want to do really crazy stuff Not enough make it even more challenging for myself defending a terran with just one oh, reaper might be very crazy. difficult but we see i'm also gonna do uh, yeah. some crazy proxies i would love to do a widow mine proxy it sounds really weird i just want to proxy oh. widow mines in this walk mass widow mines into my opponent's base against terran probably <laughs> not the best strategy maybe i should open with a bc here i would love to go for proxy battle cruiser by the way just because it's absolutely crazy now because it's a new challenge it's been a while since i started a new challenge but i always want your suggestions so if there's something in particular a strategy you want you want to see a certain attack you want to see please leave it in the comments i would love to know what you guys expect from this challenge and you know more than anything what you guys actually want to see now i already have a very cool idea uh one idea that i had Oh, I forgot to say, I'm also allowed to make medifacts, by the way. Mines, battle cruisers, and medifacts, basically. Um, I had an idea that I could teleport, especially against Protoss, I think. I could teleport a BC in a mineral line, wait for the Protoss to come with stalkers to defend it, and then have two widow mines or two medifacts with widow mines to drop and actually combine with the battle cruisers. I think that would be a fantastic attack. Now, there's obviously so much stuff you can do in this series, and I'm very excited to actually figure out how to play the macro game again, because, to be honest, guys, some people complain, not, not not really complain, by the way, but some people complain that I've only been doing cheesy series. And frankly, I didn't even realize I was only doing cheesy series. Now, there's not, there's not necessarily anything wrong with that, but I do think it's a good time to do a macro challenge again. So here we go. And in the past, with my Sky Terran and Cyclone Mine, I always had so much fun actually figuring out what the best opener is. Like, I had the legendary 5cc setup for, like, the Raven Hellion. And now we're going to figure out what the best play is with Battle Cruiser Widow Mine. I especially think the games against Protoss are going to be really epic. I've had some really epic games against Protoss with Battle Cruiser Widow Mine. The hard part is just going to be surviving, simply put. Surviving with just Vise and Battle Cruisers. Not the easiest thing in the world. I'm going to get a reactor right away. My opponent's... Wait, why is his Reaper not finished? Or did he just not send it here? I'm only going to use my Reaper to scout, by the way. Like I said... I'm not going to allow myself to attack my opponent with the Reaper just yet. Like, I really want to make this as challenging as possible in the start. Now, I also have... Actually, going to proxy a starport here. I want to go, uh, you know, for a proxy battle cruiser. I think it'd be pretty funny. Let's see what's going on here. Does he have... Mar he probably made Marines, if I had to guess. Else, I don't know where his unit... Wait, where's his Reaper? Okay, he might be sending... Oh, there it is, yeah. I was going to say, he probably sent it to my base. Let's make sure I don't lose it. Now, I do want to share with some really cool news with you guys. I have actually opened a second channel. Now, technically, my third third channel, because I have you thermal clips as well. But I opened you thermal too. And I think everyone that watches this channel is really going to enjoy it. It's basically going to be a channel with more challenges i'm gonna implement an idea that i had combined with something you guys really wanted to see and put it on that channel so what i'm gonna do is i made a spinning wheel of all my previous challenges which is actually a lot of them uh, and then i just put them or i use the wheel against really high mr opponents and i try to get the best games possible so if you guys want to see the best ghost or grandmaster game the best sky tearing games the best marine medivac games please make sure to check out the channel i'll post the link in the description or in the comments or neither if i forget but then you guys can call me a silly goose in the comments and i'll post it anyway but i think you guys would really enjoy that channel i'll also be streaming those on twitch so make sure to come over to my stream as well to check it out uh and yeah definitely i think you guys would enjoy that so make sure to check it out now proxy battle cruiser is ready i am keeping my widow mines at home for now just because i don't really know what he's gonna do like he wasn't making an add-on here so i think he went for another Reaper. Now, if you get attacked by two Reapers and I only have one, that would obviously be a bit of a disaster. Now, I do need to make an Armory at some point. I could have actually, guys, I know this is a bit crazy, but I could actually proxy a second Starport here as well. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do it, guys. I love being crazy at the start. I'm going to get, well, one Battlecruiser first. I'm looking at my resources. I can't afford another Starport just yet. 
Oh, I'm actually going to use so many cool tactics at once. I'm going to get a battle cruiser first. Then I'll make extra gases and proxy a second starport. I'm even going to... Oh, I think I killed... Yeah, I killed his Reaper. Fantastic. That means there's probably only one. Because if he had more, uh, he would have jumped in with more. But I'm going to proxy a second starport. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two Widow Mines here on the edge. So if he follows my battle cruiser with potentially Vikings to counter them, or maybe a Raven, my Widow Mines are going to blow them up. That's a really cool plan. Now, since he actually did attack me, or... Try to get it in my base with the Reaper and I killed it. I think I have space to actually go across the map and maybe do some damage with these. Potentially when my battle cruiser is distracting him as well. Now let's get these as far into the edge as possible. There you go. This one you can barely see actually. This mine looks insane here. Those look impossible. No wonder people complain about Widow Mines sometimes. Like how are you if he sees that, I would be very impressed. Those are practically invisible over there. Okay, wait, wait, did I send my SUV back? I wanted my SUV here. Oh, that's a Reaper. Yeah, where did my SUV go? Well, I guess I'll just send another one because I need to make another BC anyway. Okay, so he has a tank there. Let's burrow these in front of his base. I do think I need to keep on pressure with this kind of build. Like, I don't want to run into a massive bio army with just Widow Mines, you know? That would be uh, a little bit unfortunate, I think. So I do need to keep the pressure on. Okay, let's see. Oh, I actually got a few units already. Okay, he's gonna try. He's trying to trigger the widow mines one by one, but I have enough widow mines to actually do that. Here we go. Oh yes, I got them both baited, and now the battle cruiser is into the main base. I basically killed all of those for free, which is nice. And now I'm gonna be proxying a second battle cruiser. Oh, he was very. Oh guys, I'm I'm afraid for him. Battle cruisers do not lose to marines. Okay, okay, he has one Viking at least. He does need to micro that though. Oh, good micro by him so far. Yeah, all right. I was really hoping he wouldn't. One Viking can't kite BC. I thought because of the medevac. He wasn't going to have Vikings, and Marines do really not kill battle cruisers. Now, this is this is costing him so much APM that it's just worth it. Keep in mind, I can just teleport out when it's time. But actually, I can just kill this tank. That's probably the smartest idea. I can kill the tank, and then maybe walk in. Oh, that I can kill. Let me get a Yamato on that one. And I really only want to teleport it out when I have to. I'm going to kill the tank. It's going to be very close. Okay, we're going to survive on 20 HP. That's fantastic. Now, let's get my second tech lab going on that starport. Repair this bad boy over here. I do need to expand at some point. Like, this is a, this build is very cool. It's not very economic, though. Like, I, I pretty much have to kill him now because I, you know, I just don't have money for an expansion. Nor came two starports. He's desperately trying to get his turrets up, but I'm not going to let him do that. Wait, maybe I can... Oh, no, it just finished. I was going to say, maybe I can kill that. Now, keep in mind, guys, I killed his tanks. Okay, I can probably just go here. He, he might not be paying attention because I'm into his main base. Okay, here we go. He's not paying attention on the Vikings now. The Vikings are going to die. Maybe the Widow might can shoot that one. Barely doesn't. That was very close. Now, maybe I can still get it, though. If he doesn't lift that depot, I can actually cover my bases. Check this out. Yeah, he can't... There's nowhere to run with that Viking anymore. He's going to lose it to the Widow Mine. I still have a couple of Widow Mines in his natural as well. And there we go. That is a beautiful game number one of Battle Cruiser Widow Mine. 500 research lost against 2,775. Now, this build is very cool. I don't think we're going to be able to use it later on because I had absolutely no money to expand here. I could have expanded instead of this battle cruiser, I guess, if I wanted to. But I thought it was a very cool build, very cool warm up game for the series. Let's go to game number two. All right, game number two against the Protoss player. Hmm. Maybe this game I should go for that proxy widow mine that I was talking about. Last game was proxy battle cruiser. Maybe this time it's this game is time for proxy widow mines. Obviously, I like to do the craziest stuff at the start. I am really wondering, by the way, what the best build would be. Now, obviously, once we get Master League, or maybe once we start getting on too hard over here, um, I will start making my five Marines, and that's going to make my builds look a lot more realistic already when I can just make a bunker and defend. Because defending with only with the mines, I mean, it can be pretty epic if they walk full into your all your all your explosions of the widow mines, and obviously it's gonna look pretty crazy. But if they don't, or if they have detection, you're just kind of screwed. I mean, one battle cruiser is good against some armies, but not if there's like five stalkers or I don't know a cyclone and two Vikings attacking. You're maybe even a raven, you know. I guess against Zerg, you can't probably defend everything with a battle cruiser unless they do like a Queen Nidus or something. So all right, I'm gonna go for the proxy over here. Uh, I'm gonna make one Reaper, uh, exactly one Reaper, obviously, to just follow the, the rules of my challenge. And then I think I'll send that Reaper back to my base, just so I can kind of deny his scout, and then I'll start rallying Widow Mines. I could also proxy a Starport with this, and then just drop Widow Mines in his base and walk them in at the same time. It's just, actually, once upon a time, I, I even remember this game. I played a game on Kyros Junction. Now, that's a very old map. I don't expect any of you to actually know that map, but... Um, or well, it's not that old, actually. Maybe like three or four years, I guess. Tarkov is pretty old at this point, isn't it? Uh, and I had a game where I had a Liberator and 10 Widow Mines because I was defending a proxy gate. 
And then I just sent 10 Widow Mines in the natural and he didn't have enough units to kill them in time. So they actually killed his units at his bro pretty much. I took over his entire natural and that was actually a super epic attack. That's something I would love to replicate. Not sure if I will be able to do that, but uh, you know, we can give it a shot of course. Now, the probe scouted my base. I really hope he doesn't scout the proxy here. I think I built it in a pretty good location. I didn't build it really obvious on the sides. I built it kind of in the middle. But if his probe comes like this to scout the bottom here, he would see it. And that's a little bit scary. I'm not sure if I need all this gas, by the way. Oh, actually, I'm going to make an armory too. So I do need all that gas. All right. I like that idea. Armory makes your uh, widow mines cloaked, by the way, if you didn't know. So if you have an armory, they need detection. And if they don't have detection because they're scared of your proxy, they're pretty much just screwed, right? So that would be uh, a pretty cool plan. My follow-up, obviously. Oh, he's going to scout. Honestly, well done. He, he really scouted very thoroughly. It looked like he just scouted absolutely everything there was to scout. Guess I'll make my starboard here so he's not going to see it. So I killed that worker. Um, I hope he's not going to send any units over here. Well, maybe if he does, I can counter it with that uh, widow mine that I'm making. So he is a zealot and an adept. I'm actually surprised he didn't send those right away to my proxy. I guess I'll just go into the main base. Yeah, he is going to try to come over here. I, I need to be lucky here. Like, I want to switch these. I think I'm going to be barely in time. There we go. He might try to deny it, and then he's going to lose the adept for it. That's the plan. Yeah, there we go. The adept goes down. The zealot is alive, but a zealot I can actually kill with my reaper, so that's nice. Now, let's start the armory to actually cloak these widow mines. Uh, I think I should be able to kill the Zealot. If I was him, I would have sent my third gateway unit into the main to defend my Reaper, right? So I think we should be able to kill the Zealot without losing the, the Reaper to like a Stalker or something. That's the deal. And I'm still going to have four Widow Mines in time uh, for my Medivac, which is the entire plan. Now, he did have a wall off at the front. He was making a battery. If I was him, I'd probably cancel that battery because... Oh, wait, watch this. Oh, grenade! No, I wanted to grenade it back at the widow mines. That would have been so cool. Yeah, he only has gate. This is exactly what I was talking about, guys. He might die because he doesn't have detection against my widow mines. That would be massive. Now, obviously, even though he has two gates, he still could have detection. Uh, he could easily be making an observer. I I'm really. I think he didn't see those widow mines, by the way. I really don't think he would have just walked here. Uh, if he actually realized those widow mines were there, so I think he got a little bit fortunate. Now, I guess I'll go for an expand. I'm also going to make battle cruisers yeah. behind this, of course. And maybe yeah, while he's distracted. There's not a, Oh, there's actually a lot of probes here. For some reason, it looked like there wasn't. And while he's distracted, I'm going to bro these right next to his stalker. That's the plan. He's probably going to lose them. If he sees that, I would actually be very impressed. Yeah, exactly. That one's going to go down. Let's make a command center at home. And I have another widow mine to drop. And guys, I think he just doesn't have detection, to be honest. Like, I don't think there's much he can do without detection. If there's no robo here, he actually lost those stalkers as well. Let's make another depot. Without robo, I think he's just screwed. Like, he was just too scared of the proxy. He's making a robo now. Yeah, that's too late. I mean, widow mines, guys. Widow mines are pretty good in this situation, okay? I think that's fair to say. Uh, he's like, if you're, look at his mineralize. It looks like an absolute disaster. The worst part for him here is that the widow mines actually fired at a different time. So he can't even pull all of his probes all at once to, you know, let the Widow Mines detonate. He actually has to just kind of suffer through all the hits over and over. Can I save this Medivac? That'd be huge. I still have one Widow Mine. Oh my god, there's so many Widow Mines to do his bases now. I think it's four or five in each mineral line. I can actually do another expand here. Yo, this build is not that bad. I mean, obviously right now it looks amazing because I'm just uh, annihilating him with these Widow Mines. But it also just doesn't look that bad. My follow-up is pretty clean. If I would have a couple Marines as well behind this to be safe at home with a bunker, I think it could look even better as well let's try to get uh, all my command centers hold keep oh he does kill the medevac but i think i actually yeah i did make another one and now i got a battle cruiser on the way i i don't think he's gonna have anything left his observer's gonna finish but he'll already be dead like widow mines are actually freaking brutal like the, the robo, it was very late, let's be honest. It was a very late robo, but even then, I was like, well, the robo's gonna finish in time to clean some of these widow mines up, but not at all. He lost everything before they came out. He has five probes, one stalker, even these probes were gonna die. He didn't even have anything to kill my widow mines when the observer finishes. It's an absolutely brutal game, too. Let's go for game number three. All right, we're playing a Shaker, a Platinum Protoss. That's kind of weird. I think this guy might be like bugged or something. How can we play two diamonds and win and then play a Platinum? That doesn't seem quite right, but it is what it is. He does have a Rainer portrait. That is always suspicious, guys, people with a Rainer portrait. Now, Grass Fan is maybe not the ideal map. I really want to play a macro battle cruiser with mine game as well. I'm just not quite sure if Grass Fan is the best map for it. It's very open. It's really hard to defend. And I am still going to stick to my rules of only making a Reaper. So that's obviously going to make it quite difficult. 
No, there is actually, I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of the bulldozer. I used to have a build called the bulldozer, which was honestly uh, a pretty a pretty epic builder, but it does involve making uh, four hellions as well, so that doesn't really work. I, I, maybe I should do a bulldozer, but like, actually, should I try that? Hmm, I, I mean, I, I'm just going to do it, guys, whatever. So the way the bulldozer works is, if you guys don't know, let me just explain it quickly, right? So you make... Not enough a factory before Not expanding so you go for you actually make one marine I, I can make one marine instead of a reaper actually i'll, I'll just do that uh, probably the same thing you know it's not like my reaper is doing much anyway uh, so you you expand after a factory you have a not very specific minerals. way to cut gas which not i'm gonna have to minerals. alter a little bit because i'm gonna make widomines instead of hellions which cost more gas right uh but what you do is you have four hellions and four widow mines in a medevac Not what people do against hellions is they wall off their natural so what you do is you fly in with the medevac with the widow mines oh let me defend that before i get owned by probe uh give me one second guys that was actually way earlier than i expected oops hey let me kill that probe you fly in with the widow mines you force the unit out of their wall which oh can i get that no way it's just gonna lose it there we go you fly in with widow mines over the wall you force the unit out of the wall and then you run in with the hellions i know that sounds complicated if you got it well done but uh, that's the kind of strategy i want to go for and i guess now i'll just do it with mass widow mines so instead of run buying with hellions i'll run by with more widow mines after getting the unit out of the wall with my widow mine drop that sounds like pretty funny the bulldozer without hellions let's freaking go guys this build is really cool by the way this is actually uh, the bulldozer is one of the builds i invented in my pro career that i was the proudest of because the build is just so smooth i always tell you guys how much i care about builders being clean and the flow being good and you know having the right research at the right time and the bulldozer is actually a perfect build you cut gas at the right time you have exactly enough to make everything you can expand you can make your hellions in time it's, it's just beautiful for me that is starcraft art right here now here i'm gonna do it slightly different normally i would have cut gas already and i would have cut all of them now i'm gonna get gas a little bit later and actually i need to keep in one more i think uh, let's see. Is this going to work out? I think it's barely not going to work out, actually. I'm going to have to keep in gas for a little bit longer. Normally, you make two Hellions, which cost zero gas. But now I'm going to make two Widow Mines, which cost 50 gas. So I need to make sure I get it in time. Now, I do need to keep in mind that the Starport, I think it actually comes a bit later. Let's see. Starport. I think I make two Widow Mines first and then the Starport. That sounds about right to me. And I'm going to get another Depot, because the CC doesn't finish in time. And then a starport. I guess we're just live figuring out how you can do the bulldozer without hellions, which is pretty cool. Now, I haven't scouted at all, which is kind of terrifying, but I guess we'll see. Maybe I can use my widow mines to scout, actually. Sounds pretty ridiculous, but maybe it, it's the best course of action here. I mean, I do have two after all. Let's scout around my base a little bit. Actually, okay. Maybe I, re I like we really need I need to hunt down that adept, actually. If I don't get the adept, uh, he's just going to, you know, be haunting me forever. Let's see can i surround him i would love to surround him it's really hard though let's see oh maybe stop paying attention please yes there we go all right that adapter was going to be very annoying uh if he didn't uh, lose it to that mine now i almost have six widow mines i'm just gonna burrow two on this ramp over here in case he wants to come over to my base then I'm going to make a medevac. Yeah, this build actually seems pretty smooth. I'm going to make a medevac and then four more widow mines. And we're basically going to go for a eight widow mine bulldozer here. The timing is going to work out pretty well. I think widow mines do build really fast. So I guess I might as well make a bunker here, even just to pretend that I'm playing safe. Because I'm absolutely not playing safe, but at least I can pretend, right? I guess that sounds fair enough. I'm going to get a depot there and then make a couple extra gases. Keep in mind, my follow-up is still going to be making battle cruises, of course. Now, I just want you guys to know, I'm getting all of my meme stuff out of the way instantly. In the future, these guys are going to be way more macro-focused because I'm not going to be able to kill people with this kind of stuff. Uh, but for now, I'm honestly having a great time and doing these absolutely ridiculous battle cruiser with my memes. Now, I do have to say, this build... Because I always like to judge build by the resources they have. So far, out of all the Battlecruz or Widowmine builds, this seems like the best one by far. Like, I actually feel like I have a lot of stuff, and I can transition at a decent time. Now, let's see. Did he make a wall-off? Can I... Okay, there's actually not even a wall-off here. He does have cannons, probably, while he's about to make them. Here we go. Guess I'm just going to blow up everything. Maybe I can even follow him. Oh, my God. That was cold. Those are both really juicy Widowmine hits. Look how many I have. He has an Oracle. Oracle, not that fantastic against Widowmines, though, here. I didn't get an armor. But oh, my God. This was actually a brutal attack already. Even the first attack is absolutely brutal. So now I'm just going to burrow random Widowmines across the map. You need to go into the bunker over here. Do I even have to make turrets, actually? I don't think so, because I have enough Widowmines, right? I could really use an armory, though. 
Um, yeah, maybe next time I do this build, I'll make an armory. I'm definitely going to try this build again just because the flow of it is really nice. But I think I need an armory to make it even more complicated. The problem with making an armory is that it's, it's not so good against the robo because they have permanent detection. It's good against oracles because... Uh, oracles can detect like one area. Oh, watch this. If I target fire, I can double kill them with the splash. Yeah, exactly. There we freaking go. If I didn't target fire them, I only would have killed one. But with the splash there, I actually killed two, which is fantastic. I do want to run by some more Widow Mines though. Um, let's get a command center over here. And then I'll scout the corners of the map as well. Very important to do scouting in the corners of the map. Do not let your opponent take hidden bases, of course. And then where am I going to borrow this next to Widow Mines? Probably just... Yeah, I guess, I guess over here, in front of my bunker. I mean, I've been having a great time. I do need to remember that I actually have to defend stuff as well, though. He doesn't have this third base. That's good to know. He, did, he lost a little probe, so it's possible that... Wait. Oh, that's a real Phoenix. I thought maybe it was a fake one because he was scouting with it, but he actually lost a real Phoenix there. Phoenixes are good against Widow Mines unless there is just too many Widow Mines, which honestly here is the case because I've been reactoring Widow Mines since like the start of this game. Now, I'm going to teleport here just so I can kill this pylon and depower the Stargate. I don't want him to have like Void Rays or anything like that against my Battlecruiser. That would be very frustrating to go up against. Now, I'm going to add two more Stargate. Let's see, this one is going to go down pretty fast. He is recalling, so I need to be careful. Luckily, there's a lot of airspace here. Wait, was that only one? There must be more stalkers. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, if there's only one stalker, that's really not going to cut it against the battle cruisers. I'm also, I have to admit, I'm a little bit afraid of the um, of the battery overcharge and the cannons as well. Like, I think, you know, if it's just a few stalkers, I can do it. But with the cannon, it's just a little bit more scary. Yamato is on the way, though. So at some point, I'll be able to defend. Now, this is the big deal, guys. I need to keep him at home with these battle cruisers. This is already something I know because I did Sky Terran to Grandmaster, which sometimes had a similar dynamic. You have to keep the Protoss at home so you can actually get a planetary up here. If you don't get the planetary up, you, you cannot defend anything at all. Like, you're just in trouble. Now, these Widow Mines are going to be super good against air. Like, the dynamic I'm the most excited for in this whole challenge is playing against Sky Toss. Because Battlecruiser Mine against Sky Toss... A lot of people would say it's good for Sky Toss with Tempest in, in particular. But if you have Widow Mines, you can create amazing sandwiches that are just going to be absolutely beautiful to watch. I can guarantee you guys. Absolutely, at least once in the show, probably multiple times, we are going to have absolutely amazing Sky Toss games. Now, let's see. Maybe there's something... I can actually... If there's no battery here, I can Yamato the cannon. Wait, there's actually, there, might be, there might not be a battery, guys. If there's no battery, I can totally beat those with the Yamato. Cannon's going to die fast enough. And now he's going to be distracted once again. I'm going to bro this here because he's probably going to bring his stalkers to the main. He already used the recall, so he doesn't have a recall available for that. Please walk over to Widomites. I want to see it. Or I could go for a flank. Oh, no. Yet, wait. Oh, no. of course. He just warped him in. For some reason, I really thought uh, I, he, was, he was just going to walk back here. Actually, very well done by him. He didn't walk over to Widomites and... Um, he actually made a Void Ray and countered my Battlecruiser instead. That's a pretty big mistake no. by me, but it's all right. Let's see. The Observer is there. Can we kill that? I'd love to kill that Void Ray, actually. Okay, there we go. It's going to die because the Widow Mine damage. And now I can kill the Observer. Did I? Yeah, I did make Armories, of course. So now my Widow Mines are finally invisible, which is great. That's definitely too many uh, Stalkers for me, though. I'm actually going to teleport here in the main. This is a little bit risky because if he has another Void Ray, uh, I'm not quite sure if I can actually deal with that. But maybe I can do another run by with these Widow Mines. Just gonna get all these widow mines in his natural. Ah, GG is called. There we go. GG. He's probably sick and tired of losing his probes. I mean, I did kill 26 probes here after all. Units lost not that great. I have to say, this strategy looked very cool. I'm not sure if it's the best. I do think it's the best strategy we've used so far. So the next episode, we might try it again. I hope you guys really enjoyed this new challenge. Once again, in the comments, let me know what you thought. And check out your thermal too. You guys will love it for now. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all for the next one. Adios.